Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another episode of Transfer Stories. Yet again, six players lined up, all to do within the Premier League or coming out of the Premier League. But anyways, a lot to talk about, a lot to get through. So guys, let's get straight down to it. Guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, give us a little beef and thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's go. So the first part I'm going to talk about is Dayton Niles. Mayton Niles is a player that I've seen play for Arsenal. He's one of them players that I do think that really has got a good chance of making it uh, really far in his footballing career. But apparently he's got interest from Brighton. Uh, there's been a few things that I've seen about this possible transfer. That the fact that yeah, some people sound bright when going through them, some are saying it's not, but it's a transfer story, so I'm going to talk about it and give you a little bit of information about the player. He's in the contract is the 30th of June 23, so literally just over two years. He's 22 years old, so he is quite a young right back, which for a Brighton perspective is pretty good. Um, I know we've got a player from Chelsea, I think it's Lampen, his last name, so I've mispronounced it. He's quite young as well, he's only 19 years old. There's the fee under Grandpa are always going for the youngsters and trying to rebuild our squad. Maiden, if this deal does go through, I'll just have another video on it anyway, but if it does go through, you are looking at Possibly a player for Real Madrid in the near future. Um, in my expectations, with as I said, I've seen him play. So as I said, he's a right back. So you know, with the last being a right back, in my opinion, and obviously you should all know by now that I am a Brighton fan. I do think we're a bit short in right back. So obviously, if you're a Brighton fan or you're a fan of any of these clubs, and these transfers are bringing up. Tell me how you feel whether your club's bringing in a player or letting go. Please feel rich, but it's all down in the comments below. But yeah, you know, being a right back with 31 appearances, one goal to his name. So, you know, with the likes of being, you know, having one goal to your name and being a right back, that's not a bad thing to have. He has played for England under 17s, under 18s, under 19s, under 20, under 21. The only thing he's not got under his belt at this present in time is the England seniors. This could be a big transfer if Brighton do manage to pull it off. It could be a big game changer for Brighton, and that's just my perspective on Brighton itself. And obviously, coming from a Brighton sport, would be a great signing for us. He did go on loan to Ittridge back in 2015, so literally about five years ago now. His other positions is a right midfielder and a centre midfielder. Being a right back, I had to choose one of them positions for him to play in, you know, if his main position was field for say. I would probably go right midfielder because I think the right midfielder with the right back sort of fits that philosophy. Stickman in the centre, yeah, could work, but as I said, I'd rather stick him on the right hand side. So, Mate and Niles could be on his way to Brighton. The best way you can keep up to date with all these transfers is to subscribe to my channel. The next plan I'm going to talk about is Dean Hammond. Now, he's been linked with Chelsea, and Chelsea have been linked with three to four keepers. Dean Hammond st sticks out for me because of his age and what he's done for Sheffield United this season. Let's not underestimate Dean with the likes of you know what he's done for Sheffield United. Being linked with Chelsea, that could be a big plan for him, but yet again could fit in with Frank's philosophy of the youngsters coming through at Chelsea. I think this two episodes of cover with Chelsea proves that there's a lot of speculation around Chelsea this transfer window and the actual window has not opened yet so be prepared for a lot of these throughout the transfers or the summer transfer window I should say. 
23 years old yet again so he is very young indeed with probably being a goalkeeper I'd say he's got probably 12 years left 12 to 13 years left obviously when you're a keeper compared to an outfield player you do have a few more years in goal I was going to say, I was going to try and think of another word, but I can't quite think of it. So, you know, being in goal, roughly around 35, 36. I think keepers even going for older as well. So, Chelsea do manage to get this one over the line. It could be a keeper for the future. Let's not forget that he has got contracts with United. Where De Gea is going, could he be a replacement for De Gea next season? As you know, the only one we can keep up date. He's got 39 appearances for Sheffield United this season while he's been on loan to Brook. He's a professional right for us, not really mattered in a goalkeeper's position, but if you want to know what foot he is, he, he does have the right foot as his strongest foot. 39 appearances for Sheffield United this season. Now, let's not forget with the likes of Sheffield United that all the football they've played, that's not too bad. He's played 3,499 minutes this season. So he has played for England under 16s, under 17s, under 20s, under 21s. Yet again, the only real thing that's missing from Dean is that senior England cap, which I'm sure Niles and Dean will get in the future. But Dean has also been on loan to Stockport, Grimsby, and Shrewsbury. So, you know. But that's probably, you know, a long time ago, if you think how long the season's been. I still can't believe we're not at the end of it yet. One speaks about the season, my last Premier League predictions of this season will be coming up this week as well. Here, Hosberg from Southampton. Uh, he has got a lot of interest in this window. I'm just going to call him here. Sorry if I mispronounce his name in any way. He's got interest from Everton, Spurs and Ajax. Three clubs. Three really big clubs. I know Everton's not quite there yet. You know, when some people think of big clubs. I do think they're a big club. Obviously, they've been around a long time. For you to be a big club, don't necessarily mean you have to be in the top four. In my opinion, obviously, people will put Twitter down in the comments below as well on your who, where do you think the big club stop? 24 years of age, end of contract 30th of June 21, so he's literally got less than a year. Get to January, you all know, can talk on a free transfer. His professional foot is a right foot, his main position is a centre mid, so you know, send me right side, more think of Henderson sort of side, Jordan Henderson. He's got 38 appearances this season, playing time of 3,200 minutes, that's a lot of minutes for a midfielder. He's played for them, uh, Denmark, but he's also played for Denmark under 16, 17, 19, 21. So, you know, playing with this, obviously, the senior Denmark team now, but he has came up through the academy at Denmark. He has been on loan to Bar Munich and Shakhtar Donetsk. Now, I've seen both clubs, I've actually seen one club in real life. Uh, Shakhtar is another big club. You know, two big German clubs that, that he has been on loan to. But yeah, uh, here, has got loan, has got interest, sorry, from Everton, Spurs and Ajax. Does it like he will be on the move this window? Cal Havert, he's been in, well, he's apparently been rumoured with interest with Chelsea. Now I know this deal has been going around for quite a while, but I think this one might go through, and I'll talk to you about what deals I go through at, right at the end of this video, let's just get through these three more players. Havert has, I said, got interest from Chelsea. His end of contract is on the 30th of June 2022, so he's still got, well, just under two years left on his contract. 
age is 21. Yet again, fits with that Frank Lampard youth philosophy. Position is an attacking midfielder, so the likes of Bruno Fernandes. His professional foot is the left, so Marnie's side. <laughs> He's got 43 appearances with 17 goals, so not too bad to have that stat. Uh, 43 appearances with 3,617 minutes underneath your belt. He's played for the main Germany, Germany main seven times as well as the under 16s, under 17s and under 19s. His other positions is a right winger and a centre, uh, centre forward, sorry. So, you know, does this mean, and obviously does this mean it's a straight, foot, straight swap for Petro? Obviously if the deal does come through, there'll be another video on my channel. So, as I said, the best way to keep up to date. But yeah, Havoc does look like it could be on his way to London. Blue side of London. But yeah, Havoc, Chelsea, 21 years old. Pretty good deal. And as I said, fits in with the philosophy at Chelsea. Philip Coutinho. Now, I know we've all heard of Philip Coutinho. Barcelona, Bayern Munich, Liverpool. But he has been rumoured with many clubs this window. One of the clubs that he's been named with and I'm going to talk about mostly about is Newcastle. Now Newcastle with Philip Coutinho, I think they can start making the push slightly more than what I have done this season but I do need Philip Coutinho in there. He's in the contract is the 30th of all, uh, sorry the 31st of August 2020 so he's literally got a month left could probably be a free transfer if I'm all honest age of 28 so still got a few years left under his belt as I said most probably start you know singling you know down the clubs down the table a bit I can't see him going back to Liverpool anyway main position is attacking midfielder Yet again, someone that Newcastle could do could actually need some help him, in my opinion. Uh, I know Newcastle have had their injury problems since the Premier League restart. His professional foot is right. 34 appearances with 9 goals to his name. So, you know, a little bit less of the goals, in my opinion, with 34 appearances. I don't know what sort of uh, Coutinho was like back at Liverpool. He's played 2000, 2,067 minutes this season, so, you know, not a lot of time really, if you think about it. His other positions is a left winger and a right winger. And he has got a citizenship in, in Portugal as well as Brazil. This deal, as I said, I've got probably talk about deals going through in just a minute, just one more pad to get past and then we I'll think about what deals do look like we go through and the other ones just a bit yeah possible but let's get this last part of the way. Nathan Akin has got interest from Manchester City. Now his end of contract is the 30th of June 2022 so yet again he's still got a year left on his contract age of 25, main position is a centre back, he's a left footer, 29 appearances in the Premier League with Bournemouth this season, with 2,505 minutes in the Premier League with Bournemouth this season, other positions is a left back and a defensive fielder. Now Nathan Akin, being rumoured with City, don't get Bournemouth do look like they could be going down, so probably a good time for Nathan to you know, come out of Bournemouth but with Manchester City do look interesting. Man City are probably the pot the probably the most club to get him so but you know it's got to be interesting. Right now go for all these players quickly. Do I think they could happen? 
do I think there will be another video on him? And do I think, you know, this is just talk? Let's go through right now. Starting off with Bate and Niles from Brighton. Niles is one of them players that I do could go through, but I do find it hard to agree with that one. Niles has just literally started breaking through into the Arsenal first team. I'm a bit 50-50 on that, if I'm all honest. Dean Hammond. Now Dean, obviously then the contract's running out. Could be on his way to Chelsea, but this one of four to three keepers Chelsea's been linked with. Dean Hammond, do I think he will go to Chelsea? If I had my opinion, which you're going to, you're going to hear anyway, I think he might be on his way to Sheffield United. Obviously with the top season he's had for Sheffield United. Here from Southampton, being rumoured with Everton, Spurs and Ajax. I do think he will leave Southampton, but I think he might not go to Everton. Obviously I could be wrong on all of these, so I think he's more destination than what Spurs might be Ajax. But yeah, so Spurs are Ajax if he does go. As I said, if he does go to Everton, then there will be a video up on my channel about him going to Everton. How has, from, you know, being in with Chelsea, big deal going through if he does go through? Do I think it will go through? I think this one might just about. Philip Coutinho. I think he will go, but I think he'll be on a freebie, and I think he will suit you past us down to the ground, so I think yes. Nathan Atkins, straight answer yes. So, but anyway, guys, I've got a brilliant video to an end, guys. You know what to do, give it to a big, fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.